news and, and people who do bad things, there are a lot of people who do good. There are, it's a feel-good story, mm -hmm. and those are my favorite to tell you about on yeah, the news. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, I've told you about a little bit of rain for tonight, but I have some good news, too. We're okay. going to dry out for most of the weekend. Yeah. So we'll take a look at your exclusive seven-day forecast. We have rain overnight tonight, showers for the first half of tomorrow. Tomorrow's still not the most beautiful of days. Don't really want to go outside. It's going to be dreary and cloudy and breezy and cold, but marked by Sunday, the sun will come out. We do return to the 60s on Monday as well. A few showers Monday night into Tuesday. Sunny Sunday. Oh, yes. I like it. Lee, thank you so much, and thank you for watching First at Four. The 5 o'clock news starts right now. Happening now. Breaking news. The U.S. sending thousands of new troops to the Middle East. Heavy rain in Alabama prompting flooding in parts of the state. Will the rain impact your weekend? The flu is getting worse nationwide. Find out what health experts are saying now. And the state of Alabama wins an International Tourism Award. Find out why. Live, local, now. This is WSFA 12 News at 5. Happening now, steady rain for the last two days prompts some flash flooding in parts of the state, and the rain will continue tonight. WSFA First Alert Chief Meteorologist Josh Johnson is tracking the showers in your new forecast coming up. But first, a potentially major escalation today in the simmering conflict between the U.S. and Iran after a U.S. airstrike killed Iran's top military commander. The Trump administration says it had to act to prevent an imminent attack on Americans. The big question now, how will Iran respond? Reporter Alice Barr brings us this developing story.